everyone! My name is Ricky Lee and I am a guitarist. I've been performing live since I was 15. Since then, I've performed on festivals, theatres, arenas, and also toured with many artists, including a Grammy nominated singer songwriter. I was also featured on ITV's Saturday Night Show, Game of Talents, as a rock guitarist. And today, I'm going to talk about how I overcame stage fright. Let's dive in. Before your big day, these are the three things that I found really helpful. Number one, practice until you can't make any mistakes. Think of all the things that could go wrong. This is the time where you become really critical to yourself. Hold the Murphy's Law as close to your heart as possible. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And this is the time where you prepare yourself. Number two, watch yourself practicing. Use a tall enough mirror or film yourself practicing. So that way you can watch yourself and assess your performance. I always do that when I have a big performance coming up and I rehearse down to very tiny detail on when to do my hair flips or the stance. Number three, observe and watch other seasoned performers performing. Find the artist or style that you like, watch and learn from them. Some of my favorite guitarists to watch are Joe Setriani, Orianthi, Nita Straw, and Richie Sambora. But probably Nita Straws is a little bit too excessive at times, but She's perfect for Alice Cooper's show. So if she's not your vibe, don't learn from her. But I find how she performs is really active. It gives out so much energy. So that's why sometimes I watch how she performs and try to learn from her. And also you want to find someone that is charismatic on stage and you learn from them. And let me know who is the most charismatic guitarist in the comment section below. So right, it's show time! Right before you go on stage, tell yourself I'm amazing, I'm a rock star, or whatever that works for you. I call this a self-talk booster. By telling yourself in the mirror and saying it out loud helps a lot in hacking your brain. Just so you know, I'm always really cocky on the inside just before I go on stage and I tell myself that I am the best guitarist in the world. So it really helps me in believing the statement and performance is kind of like acting so you need to stay in the character and don't worry about being too cocky or being too fake because no one really likes watching a shy performer. The next thing I find really helpful is standing as close to the front of stage as possible. Don't hide at the back of the stage. If you have a pedal board, intentionally set it up right as close as up front as possible as you can. And also try not to trip the singer in the process. And in this way, you can actually show people who's the boss and it kind of gives you a confidence boost. Like I'm the boss, I'm on stage, watch me play. And another thing that I did, I find it really helpful, especially in performing, is the body language. The open stance makes you appear really confident. It shows people like who's the boss, like I am playing, let me play. And you need to find a stance that work for you. Everyone's body is made differently, the guitars are different, they have different balance points, they have different central equilibrium. It takes a lot of time to look natural with a guitar on, so you kind of need to spend more time on this. What to do after the show that would help get rid of stage fright? When you're done with your show, take a bow. Acknowledging the audience kind of tells your brain they're just humans. And this will kind of in a way help you prepare yourself for the next time you perform. People are just people, audience are just audience. And also it's a courtesy to bow. And the next point is watch your performance and assess. Hopefully someone has recorded your performance and this is the time where you assess what works or what doesn't work. This is the time where you don't be so hard on yourself. You would remember the worst part of the show that you did. But trust me, the audience will judge the general entire performance. Learn from your mistakes or learn from the good things. If you did something great, you know, keep it up, keep on practicing and hone that craft. And my last point is do it all over again. Practice doesn't make perfection, it makes excellence. So keep practicing and keep doing shows. I was fortunate to have a lot of stage time when I was younger. So it was probably about two or three times a week. Each time it was on different settings, but no one really taught me how to perform. And that went on for a good few years. For the record, I don't really need to do those steps anymore because I've done them a lot earlier on and I no longer have stage fright or butterflies in my stomach, which now is a totally different story. The more audience I perform to, the more confident I get. A one extra tip is if you practiced enough, you can trust your fingers or you can call a muscle memory or phalanges to do the work. And if you want to learn how I become a better guitarist, be sure to click on this video to watch the 5 secrets I've learned over the years that made me a better guitarist. Let me know in the comments which tip is your favorite tip and resonate to you the most. Or if you have any more tips that you want to share, let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Till next time. Bye!